I'm wearing this belt today because we're gonna talk about breathing with a brace. In a previous video, I talked all about the dynamics and the function of creating intra-abdominal pressure, i.e. your core, in order to create a fixed point to create efficient movement in your arms and legs. I'll tag it the previous video so you can take a look at that. Today we're gonna to focus more on taking those principles and applying it to things such as heavy lifting or picking up from the ground, whatever it may be. Now this is a core 360 belt. It has these little knobs in front and back. That helps cue me to feel that I'm getting 360 degrees of expansion in my abdomen, the front, and as well as the posterior lateral or the back. What you can use at home is a simple exercise band. You can wrap that around, tie it up. It works very similarly. First we'll sit up tall, tilt our pelvis forward and back to find that neutral spine where our rib cage and pelvis is connected at a parallel. Next, we're gonna take a few breaths to make sure we've got that 360 degree breathing. Next, we're going to try and maintain pressure as we breathe out. So you wanna breathe in, but not completely deflate. You wanna think about breathing in, deflating about 50%. Cool, now that we've got that established, next we're going to feel the difference between abs and Buddha belly. So Buddha belly is gonna be expanding, thinking like you got a big, big beer belly like a little kid would do, sticking your belly out without squeezing the abs. So if you can see me here, I'm gonna push my belly out, and then next I'm gonna squeeze my abs or pulling my belly button toward my spine. So we're gonna go Buddha belly, and then abs. Buddha belly, and then abs. Good, so now that we know the difference, we're gonna go Buddha belly, and then gently squeeze your abs. Good, now we've got the filled out brace. Now we're gonna try and breathe with it. Now go ahead and start breathing. And the next breath in, squeeze your abs. Good, maintain that, and now breathe out while maintaining pressure, not deflating all the way, and then breathe back in. Let's try it forcefully. As well as nice and easy cadence. Good, now we're gonna try to maintain that brace while breathing with a simple goblet squat. All right, I've got my goblet. Now I'm gonna get my positioning. I'm gonna get my expansion, so I'm gonna breathe in. And now I'm gonna squeeze my abs from my brace. And now I'm gonna breathe while holding this not deflating all the way. And I'm gonna add some movement now. And so I'm breathing, maintaining pressure throughout that lift. This is only a 16 kg or 35 pound kettlebell. Not that much, so I can breathe throughout the lift. If we're gonna do something really heavy, we maybe wanna breathe hold our brace, hold our breath, go through the rep, and then relax and repeat. I will give you a demonstration. With heavy weight, it'll look more like this. Perfect, you're breathing with a brace is challenging your natural weight lifting belt. This is maximizing your stability at your center so you can maximize efficiency and performance in your arms and legs to increase performance, reduce risk of injury, and just be an overall badass.